I'm Casey Donovan, and together with Amy Malloy, we welcome you to The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. On a Thursday, our theme for the day is all about you, exploring mindfulness tips to be your best self. Today, we're going to talk about a topic I know a lot of us have experienced, imposter syndrome. The experience of feeling like a fraud, especially in the workplace, like you don't deserve your success. You shouldn't be in your role. One day, you'll be found out. Even though you know you have worked so freaking hard to get where you are. According to studies, 70% of people have experienced it. Not only in our careers, but in our friendships and romantic relationships. Imposter syndrome can lead to anxiety and depression. It can cause us to overwork, to discount praise, and to miss out on promotions or opportunities. Not to mention, you do deserve to be where you are. And it's time you mindfully realized it. The first step is to make friends with your emotions including your doubts. Look at it this way. Would you rather be friends with someone who sometimes doubted themselves or someone who has the opposite of imposter syndrome and feels superior to everyone around them? Now you can use mindfulness to give yourself a confidence boost. Use logic or a time machine writes life coach Amy M. Gardner, who gives workshops on the topic. Think back to other times when you feared you couldn't do something, but stayed with it and did a good job anyway. Looking back on those anxious moments that you overcame helps you build confidence. And use logic. Ask yourself, How true are your thoughts and are you really a fraud? Do you really believe it? Research shows that women experience imposter syndrome far more than men do. Think about the most confident person you know and imagine stepping into their mind for one day. Or even an hour. You might find you prefer your own headspace, after all. I'm Casey Donovan, and this is The Space. Come back tonight for another tip you don't want to miss. How to mindfully get out of a social occasion. Until then, space out.